My name is Costa and this is Pop Culture Living Room. Is this heaven? Last week Hot Toys gave us the Back to the Future DeLorean time machine and this week Blitzway announces the Ecto-1 from Ghostbusters Afterlife. I don't know if my heart can take any more of this. Okay, maybe a little bit more. You can pre-order your very own Ecto-1 from Link in the description. Originally teased on December 1st for a December reveal, Blitzway decided to be casually late with their announcement by two months. I can forgive Blitzway for the delay because what they have shown is a beautiful work of art and engineering. This is not the beautifully pristine Ecto-1 from 1984. This is the beat up, rusted, stained, been through some sh Ecto-1, and Blitzway has captured it exquisitely. But Costa, I want the original clean version of the 1984 Ecto-1. Why the hell should I get this? Well, my friend, the clean version isn't being reissued at the moment, and no one is sure if anyone will do another 1-6 scale clean Ecto-1. Also, this is an amazing piece. The amount of detail is astounding. It's an art piece. And if Blitzway decides to do a reissue or a 2.0 of the 84 Ecto-1, I'll buy that too. I'm not sure where to begin because every time I look at the pictures, I find new and exciting details. Before I talk more about the Ecto-1, let's take a a moment and marvel at its beautiful decay. Just like the Ecto-1 Blitzway released a few years ago, this is a beast of a vehicle. It's approximately 20 inches high, 18 inches wide, and 46 inches long, and weighs about 70 pounds. Oh my. You're going to need a big display case to give this monster its proper due. Stay tuned to the end of the video, and I'll tell you how to make this big beautiful display case without spending a ton of money. As you can see, this Ecto-1 is highly detailed to look exactly like the classic 1959 Cadillac Miller Meteor Ambulance from the movie Ghostbusters Afterlife. The rust is intricately placed throughout the exterior of the vehicle. These paint apps look amazing and realistic. Let's wait added dirt and dust on the windows. Are you kidding me? It looks incredible. You can see various scratches and cracks and dings. Even the roof rack and exterior structures are accurate. They didn't miss a thing. All five doors open up revealing the exquisitely decaying interior. The leather seats look worn. The steering, dashboard, and doors look dingy and dirty and, and weathered. The equipment in the back is highly detailed and includes rust and decay. One word that comes to mind, grimy. The interior structures look detailed and realistic. It's incredible. Blitzway also made a fully functional gunner seat that pops out so you can trap ghosts on the run. Yeah. Another amazing part of this vehicle is that when you turn the steering wheel, the front wheels also turn. It's functional. And of course, all four wheels roll so you can drive your Ecto-1 all the way to your display case or just, just pick it up and, and put it into the display case. You don't want to break it. No. The Ecto-1 includes 37 LED light-up functions on the interior and exterior of the vehicle. This is down from 45 LED light-up functions on the 1984 Ecto-1. I wonder where the other eight light-up functions went. Hmm. The Ecto-1 has rotating light bars with two motors, and it wails the iconic siren sound. Music to my ears. And just like the original, it features audio play with USB and SD plug-in so you can play music or sound effects through the Ecto-1 speakers. I guess they expect us to play a lot of Ray Parker Jr. We talked about the outside. We talked about the inside. But the detail does not stop there. Blitzway has included a fully detailed engine. Open the hood and boom! Dirty, grimy, but accurate engine. One last thing that is included which is cool is the RTV, Remote Trap Vehicle. This little guy is awesome and I am glad they included it. Blitzway even created the RTV's personal compartment and a working ramp just in case you want to recreate that muncher chase scene. Now, hidden away in the details on Blitzway's website, it says four Ghostbusters figures can fit inside. Hmm, are we going to be getting new figures too? Most likely, but I'm guessing initially they will be figures from Afterlife. My guess is that we'll get the four older Ghostbusters 
Ghostbusters with a Ghost Harold Ramis. Wouldn't that be cool? I still think, though, we could get a surprise announcement of 2.0 versions of the original Ghostbusters. Didn't say reissue. I make that prediction in my 10 most what the f action figure predictions for 2022. If you want to check that out after this video, I put a link down in the description. This is a big, beefy boy. And I am so happy Blitzway decided to make it. The detail and execution look second to none. I mean, it looks like a creepy rundown haunted vehicle that people who want ghosts for a living would use. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. I missed out on the original Ecto-1 and this gives me a chance to own a 1-6 scale version of this iconic vehicle. I would love to have both versions of the Ecto-1 and one day, maybe for the 40th anniversary of the first movie, Blitzway will do an Ecto-1 2.0. I didn't say reissue. Sheesh. Now you've pre-ordered this big monster and you need a place to display it. In this video right here, I show you how to turn a garage shelf into a high-end display case. The interior of this case can easily accommodate the immense size of the Ecto-1. One section of this garage shelf runs 48 inches long, 24 inches high, and 24 inches deep. So what are you waiting for? 